um, as far as me personally. I mean, I didn't I didn't stop and do anything different from what I was doing the last couple of weeks. Um, I mean, I went in and, and practiced and went in every single day like I do every single week and did the same things that I do week in and week out. So it's really just pretty much staying with your preparation and then when not panicking when everything goes goes south for you. So I just kind of stayed, stayed in my lane and, and did the things that I do week in and week out and handle business this week. Um, you know, I feel like when, when any any of our numbers are called on the offense, we all come out and perform. It's just it's just one of those things that, that we know and we understand as a as an individual group and, and different guys on the offense. Everybody's gonna have their games, everybody's gonna have like their, their ups. Um and you know, when your number call you go and perform and it's just that simple. Uh I, I never just look down upon myself as far as a performance if I go out and only get a couple carries it's Whatever I had to do that week, I was doing whatever the team needed. Um, it's, it's not just like a, a point and fingers thing for me. So I go out and handle my job and, and do what I'm supposed to do. Todd, how much fun do you guys have when you're working on those red zone plays and pass, incorporating these double pass? Like, what does that do for everyone? Like, you're the play calling in the huddle, and what's most fun about those type of plays? Uh, personally, for me, when they when they call it in the huddle, it's, it's just one of those things you really can't show show the excitement from, from inside the huddle. It's just like, you know, just got to play, play the cool and, and, and collected role. Uh, and I'm pretty sure just before that play, any, nobody can say, oh, well, Clyde was looking like he was about to get the ball on this play. It's just I go out there and, and do what I do week in and week out. I know y'all, it's, it's the same things over and over again, but that's just who I am as a person. I go in and, and, and do what I'm asked to do, and the rest is, uh, you know, in God's hands. Yeah, uh, it played a played a lot, you know. Especially for me, I heard it. I heard it week in and week out, probably about a hundred times. No pun intended. But um, it was just one of those things that was in the back of my head. Just really doing it for doing it for somebody who gave me an opportunity and, and never and never looked down upon me. Um, and I, even even last week, the whole KC everybody just wanted to kind of set me on fire. Even week before that, uh, and then you just go in and talk to Coach Reed, like, bro. Just chill, go out there and do your thing. Like it's not, it's not. Oh, you know, the, the world's ending just because of a, a play happened. He was like, "Man, you, you doing what we asked you to do as far as as far as execution? Um, you're a football player. You're a human, and mistakes are going to happen. But obviously, everybody be on your be on the, be on the coattail as soon as you do something good. So I just kind of roll and, and and still be that same person. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and it was. I even had like a little sweatshirt. I ain't, I didn't wear it in here, but it was like the Fresh Prince of Elair sweatshirt. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So, um, you know, it's it's just kind of those things. Like, it's all it's it's all an emotional game, and 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 just having those things and just knowing, um, no coach has ever done that before, and, and being able to come in and, and and help him get that accomplished is, was was one of those things that was on my mind. What was, what was, what was said about that in the locker room? Like, Nothing. As, what, as far as the players, no, nah, we, we, I, yeah, we wasn't going like, oh yeah, we got to go get coach's hundredth win. It was, we got to go get a win. Uh, you know, that's it wasn't it wasn't pinpointed, um, but e everybody knew. It's not like the whole world didn't know that if we was going for his hundredth win and and we were playing in Philly. Like that's the obvious statement, but the more obvious thing was we lost the last two games and we needed to get a win. So that's just what it was. I would say any win is a is a is a confidence boost, um, and and if you if you think otherwise and you're you're not a, a professional athlete and or competitive, uh, just the competitive nature. I, I can't I can't stand next to a guy who can, you know, drop two games and then come out in the last game and and hope not thinking that that we should go out and get a W or get a or, or obviously dominate the game. So. That's just that was just the the our mindset coming in, and we we obviously did it. Well, Clyde, when it comes, when you're in, like, people are getting serious about this, set you on fire. You, I know 
so you clearly heard everything. Was that motivating you apparently? Or, all right, I'm going to show that. All right, watch this on Sunday. Was that, was that your mentality? Man, I've been dealing with it since I was about seven years old, eight years since I've been playing ball. Um, and, and, you know, it's more publicly seen as far as now, but, you know, I'll let everybody else kind of waste their time with that while I, while I go to work. You know, you can say whatever comments, do, you know, do all the, do all the unnecessary things, but I still got to go, you know, do my, do my job, execute, go in the building, and, and keep moving. Uh, I, never, I never dwell on, on some things in the past as far as the, the game. You know, the, this, this game is, is about, uh, I'm not going to say short-term memory loss, but just being able to drop the, the negative things. And even if it's a positive, you can't sit there and dwell on it like, oh, I did this a, a couple weeks ago, so I'm good. It's, it's more of, you know, the next play is, is my opportunity to do something great. Why not? I was. Were you aware his first three were underhand, overhand, shovel? Uh, what you mean, first three? Oh, yeah. Yeah, most. I mean, we go execute the plays, and that play specifically is something I want to say Trav and I want to say they kind of made it up during one of the little little walkthrough periods, it's a, a special teams period. So uh, you know, some of the guys kind of go off on the side, and then we end up kind of making it happen, kind of playing the, playing the Tom and Jerry role. Name of the play, my bad. Uh, obviously, I'm Jerry, and Tom was uh was was Trav on the play, so y'all can kind of you know figure it out from that point. Go watch it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, obviously the, the camera doesn't lie. Uh, we getting we getting push and we getting movement, and, and you know that's what that's what kind of gets the run game going. And from that point, it's my job to kind of keep it rolling and, and and give those guys that confidence boost. That you know, obviously when we go out and do what we're supposed to do, good things come from it. And that's just that's just what it is as far as the Chiefs and our run game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was it's. We go in, we have, um, I want to say, like specific run meetings and, and blitz meetings as far as just kind of with the running back and the, and the O-line and running back coaches and the, and the O-line coach. So we talk about it. And it's one of those things that, that, that we want to obviously show that we can do. And, and we've shown it last year, but we needed to, we needed to incorporate it this year and show that, that obviously we, that we can run the ball and not just run the ball, run the ball effectively. Um, not only did we run the ball effectively, we did it with multiple backs, and and that's 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 I feel like that's a perk. So, and that's all praise to the O line. So, that's pretty much it. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Clyde. Yep. Uh, we got Patrick, Tyreek, and Mike Dana coming in.